and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this nice green onion all right and then just give it a gentle mix all right so gorgeous and yummy this is good to pair with the rice don't forget to cook your rice all right time to dish that up this is the fun part and yes you can put or just omit some of this pineapple chunks if you don't if you're not fan of chunks you can just use the juice all right and serve hot and sprinkle some of this green onion and that's done enjoy give this a try nice yummy and easy to make hi everyone today we are going to make sweet and sour ling fish all we need are 350 grams of ling fish skinned and boned one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar you can use vinegar you want or you like one tablespoon one and a half tablespoon of pineapple juice two tablespoon of honey this is pure honey but yes you can substitute sugar or you can use sugar all right one cup of tomato puree this is from fresh tomatoes but you can use store bought or you can use tomato sauce with this recipe now if you will use a tomato sauce you can use a fourth cup of tomato sauce and one and a half tablespoon of soy sauce I've got pineapple chunks here one fourth cup of cornstarch over there black and pepper to taste and lastly I've got one tablespoon of tomato paste now let's get started yes this time I'm gonna cut this fish all right but before that I'm gonna cut it with a pepper towel just to Pat it dry. All right. Now I'm gonna cut this. Into cubes. Now it's it's up to you on how you cut your fish, but for me I just cut it like that. That is fine for me. This is really yum. You have to try this. All right. And I'm just gonna All right, that's all done. And this time I'm just gonna sprinkle with some of this salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna use my hand on it. And I just find out that it's really nice to use your hand sometimes. Of course, you make sure you already washed your hand very well, of course. And that is done. And I'm just gonna grab my cornstarch. And there we can dip our fish. Yes, and then just get your chopping board and...
You don't need to make it very thick, just a thin fold. Well, it's still up to you, alright? I know you know you're doing what you're doing. Just continue until you finish. After that, you have to make sure you're going to heat your pan with the oil. I use vegetable oil. Alright, and then just heat it. And yes, once that heated, I'm just gonna put in my chicken and my fish. Make sure that it's really hot. Oh no. And turn your heat off. So here we have it. Now let's go to the next step. Yes, prepare your clean pan. I use this wok, my favorite wok. Alright. Just bring it to a temperature. And we're going to continue to finish this nice fish sweet and sour. This time I'm just going to pour in my tomato puree again you you can use tomato sauce but you need a bit of water let it boil and I'm just gonna pour in my vinegar Let's boil and give it a bit simmer. This time I'm just gonna add this tomato paste. Gonna throw in my pineapple chunks. You can put a little or if you don't want, you can just take it out. You can just use the pineapple juice. And I'm just going to cook this and simmer. And yes, once this liquid reduces, we can now pour in our soy sauce and honey. Again, you can use sugar and let this go bring this to a simmer and yes as you can see the liquid already reduces now dilute my cornstarch in water and I'm just gonna add together and give it a good mix Let's give another simmer. Now is the time. A bit caramelized. So, this is the last part. Now I'm just gonna pour in our fish. There we go. I'm just gonna give a gentle mix. Just a slow. And we don't want to crush the 
nice coatings of this fish and that's done that's basically it and yes you can add some salt if needed all right we just give a high heat now and time to turn your meat off and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this nice green onion all right and then just give it a gentle mix all right so gorgeous and yummy this is good to pair with the rice don't forget to cook your rice all right time to dish that up this is the fun part and yes you can put or just omit some of this pineapple chunks if you don't if you're not a fan of chunks you can just use the juice all right and serve hot and sprinkle some of this green onion and that's done enjoy give this a try nice yummy and easy to make